find what first aid on flight is all about. We will talk about cabin crew's main responsibility during a first aid or emergency situation. Dealing with air sickness, shock, epilepsy. Dealing with fractures, bleeding, burns, etc. Handling other passengers during a first aid situation. Well friends, I am very excited to teach you this module. So let's get started. If I have to ask what exactly is first aid, uh, it is something that is very, very commonly seen not only on the aircraft but even on ground when you want to really help somebody by providing them the first thing which you can get your hands on so that the condition does not get worsened. If we have to give a dictionary definition of first aid, here it is. Well, uh, first aid is the assistance given to any person suffering from a sudden illness or an injury with care provided to preserve life, prevent the condition from worsening and as well as to promote a recovery situation. Well, a cabin crew has to act really in a calm, composed and an attentive manner and make sure that she reduces the kind of injury by providing first aid so that the condition does not get worsened and medical help arrives before she can even do anything else. If we have to talk about different kind of first aid situations, let's start with asthma attack. Now what exactly is asthma and what causes it and what exactly are the symptoms of asthma? Let's take a look. Well, the causes of asthma is asthma is a multifunctional uh, disease which may be triggered by an allergy, it could be triggered by exercise, cold air, smoke or even a small infection can really trigger an asthma attack. What are the symptoms? Well, a person who is having asthma attack will be severe of shortness of breath. He will have some amount of wheezing, coughing, difficulty in breathing. Victim is usually anxious and is afraid that he might be suffocating. In an asthma, generally people have lack of oxygen and the only way you can help these people is by giving them more oxygen. Let's see what the crew's responsibility is in case of a first aid for asthma. Victim usually has his own medication. He will probably carry his own pump, you know, the air pump or oxygen pump. So you need to just help out the person or the passenger with his pump. Assist the victim in taking his medication in case he has any tablets or something. You can just help him, assist him by giving him some water. Administer low flow of oxygen. On the aircraft, the crew has access to portable oxygen bottle. This portable oxygen bottle is to be used to administer first aid to an asthma patient by giving him oxygen on a low flow and never on a high flow because it can really choke and suffocate a passenger. Ask the passenger to may, you know, sit in a position which is comfortable for him. Make him not lie down, make him sit in a calm and a composed position. Keep the casualty calm and make sure you keep reassuring them every now and then. Let them not get anxious about it. So friends, this is how a cabin crew will handle an asthma situation. Coming to air sickness, well, this is one of the most commonly seen uh, you know, uh, thing in the flight wherein people have feel nausea, sickness, air sickness, etc. And they start to vomit inside the flight because they feel really, really sick. So how do you handle such a passenger who's suffering from air sickness? Let's take a look at that. Well, first aid for air sickness is you need to help the passenger choose a seat with a smoothest ride and preferably it should be mid-aircraft towards the wing or near the wings of the aircraft. These are seats which are really comfortable and will not make the passenger feel nauseated. So avoid giving him seats in the front of the aircraft or right at the back of the aircraft. He needs to be seated mid-aircraft level. Eating or rather sitting facing forward while focusing on distant objects. So you need to encourage the passenger to sit or lean a little forward and to focus on an object which is at a distant location. Eating dry crackers, olives or sucking on lemon. You can also help them by giving them some sugar which will help them to not feel nauseated. Providing a carbonated beverage like a Pepsi, a Coca-Cola etc. will help him to uh, feel a little less air sick. 
Providing the passenger with extra air sickness bags, it's important that you help them with three or four extra air sickness bags inside his seat pocket area. That would really help them. Let's come to the situation of shock. Well, what exactly is shock? Shock is a condition wherein a passenger feels sudden illness or stress or some kind of emotional upheaval which really makes them feel upset and they can have low blood pressure because of which they might just collapse wherever they are. Shock can be electrical shock or it could be just a normal shock. Let's look at how you will handle passengers by giving them first aid for shock. Well, what you do have to do is do not let the casualty move unnecessarily, drink, eat or smoke. These are things which you have to be very careful of as a flight attendant. You should not allow them to do this. Do not leave the casualty unattended. Make sure either another passenger or a crew member is with that passenger who is having shock condition. Reassure the casualty in a constant manner. So you have to keep letting them be calm, composed and